Jewel. Alright guys, welcome back. How you doing today? We got more of the Leicester City career mode for you. I mean, you guys want to see it, so I'm going to keep doing it for you. Look at this right here. Before we start this game against Arsenal, we have the best home record of the league. Like, a complete flawless 100% record. 10 wins from a possible 10 in this competition at this stadium. It is a beautiful sight to see, man. We just, I mean, we're playing the top team, but I don't expect to drop no points. An Arsenal side... That is looking pretty... They, they got a lot of the originals. Nothing really changed. They got Baines at left back. Other than that, it's more or less what you'd expect from Arsenal. Sanchez and Ramsey linking up right there to put a shot just wide of the post. Gibbons, like, scrambling, but not really tested. So, let's, let's, let's say that. Arsenal coming back forward again, though. And a good save is forced out of Gibbons again. He's back from his little time on the sidelines and he seems like he's doing what he should do but Arnautovic has played for on goal right here only Gabriel to worry about Gabriel couldn't even get close enough Arnautovic Czech couldn't get close enough to the shot back of the net like I mean if you don't get in the way of the shot it's going in the back of the net what what like what don't you understand about that Gabriel didn't even try and get across to it and he's been made to pay like our players don't miss in these situations especially when you got four, I think four star weak foot for Arnautovic like the, the guy's gonna put in the back of the net you should have closed him down Jovetic this time playing it into Lamella one on one with a keeper he squares it and Arnautovic right there puts it into the back of the net easily I don't know there was something about that chance with Lamella, right? I just wasn't feeling too confident with that. Like, something, I don't know what it was. Kind of the angle, I needed to shift it left side a little bit more before I could roll it in. But Debushi was coming across. I don't know. I could have just smashed it straight ahead. But I decided that I'd square it to Arnautovic and he would get his second of the game. The safe option paid off and we did get our second. 2 0 up. Wilshire plays it across this time. Walcott there manages to score a typical FIFA goal. A typical legendary goal, especially like that right there. I like what I don't know how Wilshire got off of Van Ginkle there, like, and then he squared it to Walcott. It's come off the post for some reason. Adam Gibbons has continued rolling off the pitch and it's gone straight back. How has it hit the outside of the post and go back to Walcott like that and land on his head? And he's headed it into the open net, but we ain't got to worry about that because Torvan is completely taken out. And it's a penalty to us. And we have a chance to restore our two-goal lead again. It's Ringo Starr who takes down... <laughs> Ringo Starr, a.k.a. Howard Wolowitz, who takes down Torvan and gives away the penalty. Um, and, of course, who else is going to step up and take it? The man with a 100% penalty record for this club. Will he put it into the back of the net? That's all you I mean, we ain't got to worry about it. Because you know he's about to put it in the back of the net. Top corner. Wasn't as far in the corner as possible. But hey, like I said, it feels like the higher your penalty stat is, the less chance there is of the keeper going the right way. Because they always seem to go the wrong way or just not dive at all when I have a penalty with Jovetic. And then as soon as I take one with anyone else, it's either saved or the keeper comes close to saving it. Or I don't know, whatever. But Jovetic, he ain't missing no penalties for this team. This guy is just too cool calm and collected and he's already scored his 17th goal of the Barclays Premier League season in only about 21 games maybe even less if he's had some rest 87 minutes in a very good volley from Aaron Ramsey forcing a good save out of the keeper Alexis Sanchez down the left hand side this time squares it to Campbell and he's forced a brilliant save out of the keeper and Walcott just couldn't get there in time now we're coming back forward square to Troyano good save by Czech and Aaron's shoots wide and that is the final attack of the game Aaron throws himself on the floor because he's so disappointed he should have put that in the back of the net and we both agree that that was a miss that shouldn't have even happened but we're gonna walk out of there with a W three points we're gonna take all the way back to the Premier League table Adam Gibbons got himself man in a match with a few good saves in that one back into training the same old same old defensive players however Shah is not being trained anymore we're giving more to Jeffrey Schlupp trying to get him to grow a little bit just because I feel like he's not really growing at all and I don't feel like he's reached his match potential I don't actually think his match potential is that high because of the fact that we started this series before Leicester started doing well so I think he's I think when I started, he was a 67, maybe a 68 overall. So pretty, so 77 is pretty good, considering he started that low. But we'll just see how it goes. In the feeling of the, in the, what, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the, what, what's the word? In the, forget it. Back into the transfer window. Callum Wilson set for a move with Everton. 
Eden Hazard, another player who's 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 in that kind of area, and also Troyano, a player who he, he recently joined us, but he's so, we have so many young players around in this team that it's like I don't know we 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 kind of need to make some space and Troyano he could get some experience. I feel like he would get some games at Norwich, get some experience, and get learn how to 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 play in the Premier League. He's been pretty good for us since we signed him. But he should grow a bit, and that gives us an opportunity to play some other players, and they can grow a little bit. Also, what was I about to say? It just popped up on the screen, and, and I missed it. I forgot what it was. Someone has gone somewhere. That's all we're going to say, because I can't remember. You you guys know what I'm talking about, because you just seen it. But forget about that. We're into a game with QPR, and that was the first chance of the game. I think it was Arnatovic going for a spectacular overhead kick, and all he needed to do was leave it to Shah. He could have nodded it into the back of the net, but Arnatovic just loving to get himself some, some fancy opportunities to score. He's got a long-range shot there, denied by the keeper. QPR coming forward, though, trying to open the score, and it's Emmanuel Thomas forcing a good save out of Gibbons that time with a long-range strike. It's not bad effort at all. Gibbons, like, I, I did say it well, well, didn't I? We gave him a little rest. Showed him he has some competition. Ben Hamer played well, but with poor Gibbons back in, and he's been making some good saves. No mistakes from him. Nothing but good saves from the young keeper. Junior Hoylet there had a chance to put them in the lead, but Fabian Shaw got back with a brilliant last-ditch slide tackle. That's the kind of shit you don't usually see. Like, that's the kind of stuff Shaw does, man. He's, he's our life, like, other than the forwards. But on the other side of the field, when it comes to the forwards, Jovetic is our life. He just... Jovetic is bae. Stevan the man that can is bae. Like, he's everything. I wish I could sit right here and and it, I, I, and tell him my vows. And, and just ask him to marry me. Like, this dude is everything. He's my life. He just keeps scoring goals is what I'm basically trying to say. And he, he, he completes this team, I guess is what I, wa I want to say. Like, I can't imagine this team... Without him in our life, you know, but look at the way QPR players are just swarming forward right there. And it's a poor finish from Jamie Mackey, but this is what we kind of have to live with. we got so many players coming forward, scoring all the goals for us, that we kind of just sacrifice that for the goals that we score. We, we sac Well, we sacrifice defence for the goals that we score is what I'm trying to say. Jovetic there couldn't find the back of the net, neither could Arnautovic. So it's still only 1-0. QPR have a chance to get back into this with a corner. It's whipped in. Keeper is in the box. Arnautovic it comes out to. Arnautovic and Jovetic forward. A through ball to Jovetic. Defenders run straight past Jovetic and Jovetic is kind of Brushed him aside, open goal, could just pass it in, but Jovetic has just decided to run it into the back of the net like a bit of a prick. But you know what, he's base, so he could do whatever he likes. He could do what he wants. If he wanted to kick that over the bar, I'd let him. I don't, I don't care. He does what he wants. I mean, it was a little bit fun, I ain't gonna lie. To, it was a little bit scary too. I, it felt like the defender was gonna come and slide tuck me, and then I would have felt like a bit of an idiot, but... It all worked out well. We got the goal. We got a 2-0 win. 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. I'm going to take it. All we need right now until the end of the season is to not lose a game. If we can go this season undefeated, I'm going to be I'm gonna be ecstatic. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be. I'm going to be like the Black Eyed Peas. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be. But transfer window is where we return to. Chelsea in talks with James Rodriguez. Also, Nice in talks with Liam Moore, a player who... At the start of this series, I said I had plans for him, and it's never, it's never really come to fruition. Like this guy has played probably max of five games a season. I don't even think he's ever played five games in a season for me. Yet to play. Oh God, another hiccup. He's yet to play a get a game this season. So I kind of feel like I'm not sure what we'll do with him because I still think he has. He is still growing kind of well, and maybe sometime we'll decide to use him a little bit more. I'm not too sure. We'll see what goes on with him. Into a game, however, with Manchester City in the Capital One Cup. We're progressing in this tournament, a tournament we still haven't won at this point. We do want to win it, so we've got a strong side out here today. Ain't no competition take take um, presidents over any other one. They're all as important as each other, guys, especially because we've already won the Premier League pretty much. Jovetic denied by the keeper. Van Inkle smashes it over the bar. Again, we're all over Manchester City early in this game. We've played them previously, and they're just not... They ain't scary like they used to be, man. We come over to them, and, and we just... We, we just take over the game. Lamella there denied by the keepers. Falling to Lamella again. Delph is such a beast in this game. It comes over to some... 
Fabio Delph is the best centre midfielder in this game, I'm sure. Like, he's just a beast in this game. But we managed to get a better of him that time. But we couldn't get a better of Joe Hart. Mahrez steaming down the left-hand side this time. Bursting past company. Company just can't keep up all the way into the box. Squares it into Jovetic. And Mahrez deserves all credit. Jovetic is put in the back of the net. But Mahrez deserves all the credit for that goal. He's, so you see where he picked that ball up from now? You see where he picked that up? All the way down in his own half. Completely skinned company. I thought company was faster than that. But company didn't stand a chance. Especially when Mahrez is coming past him in full sprint. Squares it to Jovetic. Puts it on a plate for the striker. And he scores yet another goal this season. Manchester City who have a pretty good side at this point in the, in the um, series. But... Boney finishes like that, like, I'm, I'm considering putting their, taking their shot error down a bit, just so they finish, because they should be doing better with that, man, like, it's straight into the keeper's hand from that close, that's poor, man, and we, we punish them, because Mahrez come down the other side, Joe Hart again made another good save right there, they've fucked it up, they've given it away, Sun squares it to Jovic, a good save from Hart, and Mahrez is just there to put up the, the, the little spoils into the back of the net, now we have a chance to make it 3-0 with a free kick. Jovetic over the wall and it's a brilliant save from Joe Hart. If not for Joe Hart, it could have been a lot worse for Manchester City. There is still a second leg to play at the Etihad. And they could be thanking Joe Hart for all the saves he made later on. If they get something out of this tie at the Etihad. Back into transfer window business. Victor Moses linked with Khan from France, I believe. And he's a player, I don't know, like... Why they even still have him on this at this point in the series? Because we all know Victor Moses is probably never going to play for Chelsea again. At least in a competitive game. Which is a shame because he's not really got a chance for them. But you know what? That's what Chelsea do. So it is what it is. He's still a decent player. He'll probably get signed by a mid-table team like Stoke or West Ham. You know, But regardless of that, we're going to end the video right here. We're going to move on. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, type butternut squash pancakes in the comment section. Um, bye.